We apologize for that um, abrupt break. Um, we're back with conversations on this morning. Anifo Osha is still online from Ota. Please go ahead with a contribution. Thank you. And I want to say again that civil servants in that, in, in that ministry should be kept your role there because they know that government money is not supposed to be kept in a private account. They know that. They are director of finance, several directors along the in territory of them there. Why should they allow it? So it is, it is intentional. The civil servants are aware. They know it and they allow it. They should be held responsible, not only the time alone, but every senior civil servant that should know what to do and fail to do so should be responsible, should be held responsible and sanctioned. There are many Thank you, Anifo Oshie, for your contribution. Mr. Pele, earlier you were asking the question of why the former minister stayed for six years, you know, with the many allegations against her. Um, do you think that this development is going to encourage whistleblowing? And how much of interruption do you foresee this will bring to this administration? Well, um, you know, um, let, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a, a system person. I love, I love system because systems has a way of checkmating people. And, and I think systems in this context should actually be put in place to ensure that people uh, will not carry out certain things and do the wrong thing or fraudulent practices rather than just trying to trap them and catch them and all that. You know, but however, um, I believe that um, the, the government financial system is robust. I believe that it's good enough. It's just the implementation. And then crooked people in the system that try to circumvent that system to their own advantage. There's nothing wrong with the system. Everything is wrong with the people who are trying to run the system who intentionally wants to defraud the government. The 2009 uh, financial regulation is perfect, uh, although it needs to be upgraded and um, bringing, up, bringing into it emerging issues. But I also believe uh, Edu is somebody I respect. I haven't met him, but I, I, I follow his trajectory, and I believe that, um, and his antecedent, I believe that his reputation uh, precedes him. And he knows that his reputation is on the line. Uh, the way and manner he, he uh, look at the internal system and see how he can strengthen it. Um, but, but also, it's important to mention here that we need to know how inclusive that investigation uh, panel is. Because most of the issues that we're talking about has to do with vulnerable people. So, um, um, Mr. President, I'm sure you're probably watching or maybe you're in a meeting there's a need to make sure that you include some persons with disability who can also serve in that committee and bring and give that committee the knowledge that they, they need to be able to unravel right. these mysterious fraudulent issues. And I agree with you, my brother, that um, nobody has been convicted. So it's still an allegation, but Indeed. it's very profound what is happening. But we need a very strong uh, financial system that can check make people like this. Dr. Uludari, I, I, I know you are not a preacher of love or forgiveness, you know, <laughs> so to speak, but, um, and I'm sure you're following the latest development with the Interior Minister as well. Uh, you wonder if the Tinubu administration can afford these distractions. Expectation of Nigerians. Uh, thank you for that question. I must first, you know, full disclosure, the Minister of Interior was my senior prefect in secondary school, mm -hmm. and I have not seen him since 1999, not spoken to him. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you something about him personally. When I was in JS1, whenever I went, because my brother was in his class, whenever I went to his class and his classmates were bullying me, he would rescue me. There was a particular incident where someone told me,
the personal seat and he was walking around. So that is the manner of man that he is. And when he was select, selected, I was happy because, you know, I had that memory about him. And that's why he's delivering. At first, when I heard that news, I thought, oh, wow, I am being disappointed, heartbroken. But when I heard his, you know, explanation on, uh, I think it was China's or whatever other news, I mean, I believe I'm satisfied based on based off of that, at least for now. There was no, you know, uh, news of any form of influence peddling. So if there was a news of influence peddling, then that is fine. That is, you know, another thing. But he resigned before he even got into National Assembly from that, you know, what's it called, uh, office. And I can tell you, because I'm a politics, you know, uh, lover, uh, you know, uh, that all over the world, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Nancy Pelosi, they all have shares. Having shares in the company, they run it of that company. That is perfectly fine. Now, if the company goes around using the name of the founder to, you know, try to get, you know, added advantage, that would be a problem on the company. Because just like in the case of, you know, the United States, where Aunt Biden went, for, went around, peddling the name of his father to get uh, uh, favors, you can, you know, talk on Biden for it, but you cannot blame it on the president of the United States because it has nothing to do with it. So the moment he said that he had resigned and it was not like he resigned to have resigned, you know, even as far back as 2019, I believe that that suffices, at least to me, for now. But like I said, full disclosure, I know him, but I, I so I don't think this and I mean and he's you know he's delivering. We can see everything that he has been doing, and this was what I predicted. Even it, exactly the was, point you know, I'm making, Doctor Charles, that you know you can dig debt from anybody, you know, as long as you keep looking and you, you know, and there are so many of these allegations that even with time you find that they might not be substantiated. It's perhaps why the former president just looked away and say, you know, you know what, guys, focus on your job. Um, but do you think, you know, um, giving room to so much whistleblowing uh, will bring a level of distraction to this administration? No, it will be, bring a level of sanity because when you know someone is going to blow your whistle, then you are going to couple, you are going to be able, you are going to try to refrain from those activities that, you know, might expose you or bring your name to shame. You know, we, we and I agree with what Dr. Dr. Epele said that we need systems. But the problem with systems is that they are dependent on people holding forth, people all staying at their gate and making sure the system works. And what's the culture in Nigeria? This is this is one of the reasons why I started social rehabilitation, whereby I felt maybe if we can make people see reasons that you know the the this uh, you know stuff don't is not to their own benefit, maybe they can change their ways. Because if we keep if we keep systems good, but the people that are supposed to make the system, you know, run, they are corrupt, and that's the right. culture in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That is why I am suggesting something much more proactive as opposed to something right. reactive. Quickly, let's take Olufemi's call. He's called in from London. Good morning, Olufemi. Uh, good morning, Nifemi. How are you? And hello to the gentlemen on on the studio. Thank you. We're fine. Please go ahead. Um. Um, first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to President Ola Metinubu for being proactive. Secondly, corruption in Nigeria is endemic. It's in the fabric of our society. It's the bane of our underdevelopment. And uh, whoever has his hands soiled, let them pay for it. Okay? It doesn't matter how many people were changed in the government. We actually want this government to succeed. The only way they can succeed is to be upright and stand on the path of the masses. The masses are money in pain in access to poverty. Secondly, we the only way to do scandal. Scandal. Mm. To claim that he's not involved, he has resigned, is just the rules. He might have resigned, but to claim that he does not know about the, uh, the contract, that is a rules. And I give you one example. The recently conducted by election to the House of Representatives in Ondo State, Akoko North, he used all his influence to ensure that 
the the wife younger brother God is not. Why? Yes, I am, I am, I am, I am that's root in Nigeria. Okay. All yes, right. and that's a fact. Okay, um, uh, that's our time. I'm sorry, uh, but but we have to let you go. Um, uh, we can't keep making allegations against these people uh, because they're not here, right? And uh, we we'll really will be doing a lot of disservice having someone speak against them without giving them the privilege to. Can I, uh, can I say? Can I say something? Uh, yes, I know you want to say something, uh, but I want us to move on from the Minister of Interior story entirely. Um, let me bring in Mr. Billy very quickly. You know, um, according to during the last statement, this suspension is aligned with the president's commitment to upholding the highest standards of integrity, uh, transparency, and accountability in the management of the Commonwealth of Nigeria. And I know you mentioned earlier that his communication guys should meet this further. But I want us to just, you know, look forward to the implication of these because now he seems to have set a standard. What they say is good for, you know, the goose is good for the ganders, right? Um, do you foresee a situation where, uh, you know, some people will begin to take advantage of this to actually destabilize this capital? Yeah, that's uh, one of the things that I was going to say uh, about encouraging too much uh, whistle blowing because uh, politicians are crooked. Somebody can sponsor an individual to blow wrongly a whistle in order to get at that individual. But that does not in any way dismiss the value uh, that whistleblowers bring to disclosure, which is uh, perfect. But I, I want to commend Doctor for being very honest and um, making yourself a man of integrity on television by saying that you know this gentleman and you're going to speak about him. That's very good. But also to say that, look, if at the end of the day that the Minister of Interior, they did not press anywhere that he's part of the organization, even though he's the founder of that organization, everybody have a past. This guy is the star minister of this administration, and um, they shouldn't distract him in what he's doing. I haven't met him. I don't know him, you know, but I'm just standing for what I believe is objective and right. If he has... If um, for any reason his organization, which he founded, which I'm told he's no longer a director in that, if they went ahead to do something and got a contract and executed it, the question is, did they get it the right way? Did they execute the contract? Is this something that they have to refund? Will they be held accountable one way or the other? That has nothing to do with the minister. And I think this gentleman is one of the star minister of this administration, and I think uh, he shouldn't be distracted. But um, 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 yes, um, uh, Mr. President have written his name in gold, and he should continue. He should, this is just the beginning. It began on the 8th of January. 8 is number of new beginning. This is new beginning for this administration, and let him do whatever he can to make sure that People know that he means well for this country and is transparent. And I will be his number one supporter if he continues with this trajectory. Doctor, are you there? Hear me. I can hear you. Yes. One minute for your closing yeah. remark. So I said, I believe the president did the right thing by, you know, suspending. I don't want to say maybe I might have mistakenly sounded like I was convicting better on national TV. No, she deserves, uh, you know, you know, innocent until proven guilty. I think this is maybe more of like uh, an administrative uh, uh, malfeasance as opposed to a crime, at least regarding this. I believe EFCC should do a thorough investigation of that department and every other department and set up ethical standards for every department to follow so that we don't have a recurrence of this. Well, thank you, gentlemen, thank you. for talking to us. Jacob Pele, Policy Development Analyst, Dr. Charles, Mari Dotti, Uludare Convena, Social Rehabilitation, Grace, and Support Initiative. Gentlemen, thank you so much for talking to us.
on the program this morning. We're following this story very closely. Uh, the suspended Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and uh, Poverty Elevation, Beta Edu, has arrived at the headquarters of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission in Abuja. She was brought in at exactly 11 a.m. in a black Land Cruiser Padro Jeep with no number plate, with a white Toyota Hilux backup, also without number plate. Both vehicles were later seen at a nearby gas station where they, brought, uh, where they bought petrol. EFCC says interrogation begins as it confirms the appearance of the suspended minister at its headquarters. The commission also says a team of interrogators are now on hand to attend to her and proceed with the investigation as directed by President Tinubu. We'll bring you all the updates as soon as we have them. You should also uh, stay back to watch the news at 12 for more on this development. I'm Nifemi Oguntoye. See you again tomorrow.